the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over a poly and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler poly menu. Locate the scale action at the top. With the scale action selected, you'll see a series of targets, then a series of modifiers down below. By default, the target is set to a single poly. With the single poly and the mesh center modifier active, clicking and dragging on a poly will scale the poly towards the center of the mesh. Returning back to the Z Modeler menu, selecting the modifier of axis center will scale the poly towards the world axis of the scene. If I click on this poly here and drag, you'll see that it's going to scale towards the center of the world. Switching to local symmetry, ZBrush is going to apply the scale based on the center of the selected target. With a single poly selected, if I just come over this poly here and just click and drag, you'll notice that the scale effect is happening towards the center of that single poly. If I undo this and say shift to something like Curve Island and now apply that same process, it's now going to apply the scale effect based on that curved island target. Next we have the modifier of Click Center and this will actually apply the scale towards where you click to actually apply the action. This works really well with the target of Flat Island. So if I actually just want to scale this whole Flat Island here and I have the Click Center modifier selected, wherever I click on this poly here, the scale will go towards that area. So if I click right here and drag, you'll see the scale is going to scale towards that direction. If I click over here and drag, the scale will go towards that direction. Finally, we have the Polygon Center modifier, and this will actually look at the center of every polygon in the selected target and scale towards that. So if I select Curve Island and Polygon Center and come through this area again and click and drag, you'll get a shape like this. So coming through and using these different targets and modifiers with the scale function, you can continue deforming your model quickly and easily.